actress Rosita Chetwan and actor Zain Saidin have successfully tied the knot at Setia City Convention Center in Shah Alam on 11 of December 2013. Their wedding has been announced as the wedding of the year in Malaysia with 500 guests including close friends and family. Their marriage was solemnized by Selangor Religious Department Chief Register Alui Parman who was represented by Rosita's younger brother and Wali Roshidi Chetwan. Zain Saidin managed to recite the pronouncement of marriage in one attempt. Next, in the wedding session, we have another wedding at Baling Kedah, where the villagers are working together for the preparation of the wedding. Our reporter was there at the scene. Akila, can you tell us how's the situation there? Yes, Fatia, as you see behind me, it was a lively reception with around 300 guests. The villagers have been cleaning, cooking, and decorating the place as early as 9 a.m. today. An estimated of 100 people gathered together in preparation for the wedding of Shuhada and Ashraf. That's all for the side report. Now back to you at the studio. Breaking news, countries around the world have been struck by coronavirus which was started in China. The first cases has been detected in Malaysia where infected individuals had traveled from Singapore to Malaysia and was confirmed positive on 25th January. Kerajaan memandang serius situasi semasa ancaman virus berbahaya ini terutamanya perkembangan gelombang yang kedua. Dan untuk itu kerajaan memutuskan untuk melaksanakan perintah kawalan pergerakan. The Prime Minister also mentioned that all events involved in crowd gathering are to be cancelled or postponed until the situation subsides. Business owners, however, have been greatly affected due to the COVID lockdown. Coronavirus is taking a huge toll on the wedding industry. Businesses across the country are struggling to stay afloat as more couples are forced to cancel or postpone plans for their big day. Photographers, catering companies and vendors are all struggling. Florists have been hit especially hard. PKP sebelum daripada bulan 3 mungkin sampai bulan 5 macam tu kita mungkin uh, terdapat lebih uh, 15 pelanggan kita yang terpaksa menangguh majlis mereka ke depan dan kita juga telah mengalami kerugian melebihi daripada 70% daripada sel bulanan kita Okay, um, pada awalnya pada bulan 3 bila pihak kerajaan umumkan total lockdown so, sangat kelangkabut di mana para pelanggan pun terkejut, kita juga terkejut, kita tak tahu apa yang perlu dilakukan Okay, uh, so memang sangat kelangkabut ya dengan dengan postponnya, dengan pembatalan serentak yang sangat banyak ya Dan juga kos-kos yang dah kita uh, keluarkan, sebab ni kita dah buat preparation beli barang-barangan makanan ya uh, Kos-kos yang terbabit dan sebagainya, so memang sangat kelangkabut We had five events, three of them were pretty like right, decent sized weddings All the product was ordered, half of it was already picked up so all of that, uh, it's been a loss. Itu kena revise balik. So sekarang ni wali seorang je boleh masuk. So kalau boleh, uh, boleh buat SOP untuk nikah lah. At least boleh parents boleh datang lah. At least dapat tengok anak dia kahwin kan. Kita boleh pergi ke pasar raya ramai-ramai. Boleh takkan nikah tak boleh. Sometimes ada juga right. yang uh, okay. pasangan yang dah stress. Asyik tukar saja dia. Dia tak jadi kahwin kan. Tak bagus lah benda tu kan. Kan kahwin benda yang bagus. Wedding planners in Malaysia can now breathe in relief as the government announced the opening of the event sector starting from July during the recovery movement control period. In the new SOP announced, weddings need to be held in session as the number of guests are limited to 200 people per session. A lot of people have come up with various creative ways to celebrate their special day while still following the SOP that has been imposed by the government. People are not allowed to gather with their family and friends. However, some of the SOP that need to be followed include All guests must apply hand sanitizer upon arriving at the place. Guests must have their body temperature checked and scan the mice jatra at the entrance of the venue. Social distancing must be practiced at all times and people are advised to stay at least one meter away from each other. At Padang Besar Perlis, a couple decided to do a drive through wedding ceremony where their guests can just drive by to wish them a happy marriage and pick up the food as they go as gathering of crowds were not allowed during the MCO. The police will give them, if they don't give them, they will give them a lot of people. Itu sajalah, dia bawa lagi. Jangan jumpa yang mama ya. Ah, bayi bungkus dia bawa balik makan di rumah. Ada yang kita cancel tak? Macam apa? Ah, yang cancel ni macam laksa, biunsu, dangai, gula kambing, apa semua cancel lah. 
takut memazir lah kerana lauk dia terlampau banyak jadi saya buat catering pun 2,000 orang dah banyak orang lauk I guess after this, our wedding is going to be small and the guests will be limited. And we also need to include more official at the entrance. That's right, Min. For future wedding events, I think we need to limit the number of guests that can be invited to a wedding because of their SOP. The clients can limit their list to groups of people such as families, uh, relatives and close friends only. I think it's good that the limitation of guest list will reduce our planning cost for the wedding. In addition to that, to reduce contact between attendees, I think buffet style serving should no longer be used and we need to think of another way to serve the guests. So like the FNB section will also cut off the size serving, right? Thus the buffet like serving will be cut off and there also will not be any family style serving for the future wedding ceremony like i guess we as a wedding planner really need to cope ourselves with all the challenges that will come in the future yes but at the same time we had to reduce the pricing of our wedding package in other words our profit will also decrease compared to the weddings before covid 19. But I think it's okay because um, looking at the situation now, people are scared that we will face another lockdown and they are in a hurry to hold wedding ceremonies. So based on that statistic, I am predicting that there will be a rapid increase of wedding ceremony. Am I right? Yeah, that's oh, right. That's true. And cut! Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you guys in our next video. Bye! Bye.